this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Alpha 16. We survived a massive, massive raid. That was what I was looking for. Raid on our base. When little old Paulie here, he's only 15 years old, bless him, came running to us. He he's a tunneler. He's young. He's he's what? He's a he's a cave world tunneler. That's what he is. Yes. He's a cave world tunneler. We we survive. We there's a, there's a bit of blood and, and stuff le left ready to be picked up, but that's fine. We're getting around to it. Our problem at the moment is we're running out of space. We could do with a trader. We could do with a trader. We've set Min on to making some sculptures. We finished the last episode on making... Who's breaking? Paul. What's up with Paul? What's up, Paul? Observe the corpses. Innocent prisoner died. Can't do anything like that. Ugly environment. Okay, eight without a table. Ooh, that's a good point. Are we? Do we not have enough people, enough space to eat now? Do people claim spaces? So that's never good. Never good to claim a space like that. Very possibly, though. Very possibly. Uh, we might need to work on a more suitable position for this. Because uh, we could do with another table. It doesn't have to be a big table, really, though, does it? We could just put it into the corner, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's speed this up as well. So, let us build a short table. And we shall put... No, just wooden. We're not going to go crazy with the, with the seats. And then you to there... I think we can get away with that. It's not often we use this, so that's fine. And that, and uh, technically, this chair will be using that space. There's no point putting a chair there. So that's as much as we can do in the corner. It also means we're accommodating everyone, which is great. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get repaired, auto door. Uh, how are we doing for herbal medicines? We've only got the one, which is why we can't do the next medicine here. That's fine, just so I know. Just so I know. Uh, we've got three smoke leaf, smoke leaf joints left. I believe Min, who's a bit of an artistic one, you know, has got food poison, poisoning. Uh, was Min carrying around a joint? Must have smoked it. Must have smoked it. Ah well. Ah well. Um, where, Paul, have you decided to sleep? We need to put a light on. Or do we just assign one for you anyway? Let's just assign this one for you. There we go. And we can turn your light on too. Oh. Our refining's good. Well done, Vlad. Uh, let's just pause this a second. What are we up to now, really, as far as... We're industrial. We're industrial. That's good. I think. Uh, what do we want to build? Is there anything we're really desperate for? Yeah, we could do that. Should build in basics. We can actually do now. Do we do it? I don't think we need anything else. We've got the crypto sleep caskets if we want to disassemble those. I don't know what's in them. It might be interesting just to claim one of the caskets in this episode and just see what it's made of. Let's... Well, we're having trouble building the hospital beds at the moment, let alone vitals monitors. So let's uh Yeah, let's build shipbuilding basics. Why not? Why not? Uh we also will take one of these apart. So that's as good as any, I suppose. Let's, let's deconstruct you. Who's gonna do this then? Ah, right. <gasps> a boomerope, where are you? Okay, and where are you in conjunction with everyone else? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Manuel, you should be fine doing this, son. Hang on. So it's steel, uranium. Lots of steel. Lots of steel and uranium. That's fine. I was hoping for components, but never mind. A spider. Need to deconstruct you. That's the last grave. Right, so, Boomalope. Come have a go if you think you are hard enough. Manuel, don't be too quick. 
you're just moving. Uh, Manuel, uh, I would like you to come this way, please. As soon as he steps into there, I presume you're going to go for Scotty now, Mr. Boomerlope. Attacking granite. Auto door. Excellent. Good. Scotty. Please. And then if you can just take care of that for me, please. Don't get in the firing line, princess. Oh dear. Rat one. Are you... Are you... Are you... You don't need to be coming back this way just yet. Princess, out of the way, please. Manuel, what are you doing to me? Come on, Rat One. I'm 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 with you on this. Make it through, son. Oh, Rat One. Oh, Rat One. Can you can anyone put Rat One out? Is that is that possible? No. Oh, well, kind of. Are you mega damaged? You're burnt. You're burnt. That's fine. Uh, what have we got here? A group of dromedaries, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Oh, that's nice. We got two? Yeah, we got two. Now, we that is something we can set a caravan up with. Let us, let us, let us um, set you to Animal Roam. Awesome. That we will definitely have to have a look into, I think. Anyway, let's speed up. We need to set, set more people on hauling. I don't feel like people are doing it as quick as they probably should do. Uh, Massive Roo is crafting before anything else. Uh, who else have I got crafting at the moment? Constructing the mines. The princess should be crafting. Min should be crafting. If not artsying, fartsying. So, yeah, we can afford to set you down to, to two. And set you up to one. I think that's how I like that being played. All right, let's carry on with these with these uh, sculptures. These are giving me a bit of a giggle. This is clean now. What's the beauty like in there now? One. It's dirty. Okay. Okay. It's dirty. Is it in the home zone? It should be in the home zone. I'm sure it's in the home zone. Yeah. So why is no bugger cleaning it? Could it be because there's no floor? Should we put a floor down in here? What's the... Uh, the most blocks we've got at the moment. We've got, we've got quite a bit of sandstone. I want to keep the granite in case something epically bad goes on. So let's pop some sandstone tiles down. Ooh. Uh, what's I do it here as well? Hey, look, if you can put it under the batteries, you are a better crafter than me. And... I dig that. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. She's out again. This is Hukuju, isn't it? Oh, she's way out. Wow. You did not mess about. That's all right. I've got uh, turrets. For... Why are my turrets shooting? Oh, they are. <laughs> are you dead? No? Okay. Uh, Manuel, what are you doing? Hauling. If you'd uh, just capture Hakuja for me. Look, you you just need to join us. I, I, I can't say it any other way. You're lucky you're not dead. That's that's the long and short of it. Let's speed this up. I need this stuff brought in. Or is it that we can't bring it in because we ran out of space? Okay, okay, okay. So it's it's basically weapons and half SMG. Weapons and clothes. So if we set it into here. So we would want textiles, does it do clothes? 
or is it something completely separate? Ah, apparel. So all apparel and weapons will set you down to normal now, and then that should be preferred still. There we go. So let's get that stuff away from the prisoners. So they don't run out of the prison and automatically find a weapon. That That's not good. That's generally not good. What are we doing? Uh, oh, cargo pods. Uh, oh, was that it? Flake. Quite a bit of flake. Okay, that's probably going to be a bad thing. Uh, we need to start installing these. So, what do we have here? Art! Superior. This carving is shaped like Alicia Princess Rich capturing Basculo Bidero as he arrives on the ground. Princess is laughing as tears well up in Bidero's eyes. A blue jay appears near the edge of the image, while almost every shape in the image seems to be very dynamic. This art relates to capturing a Bidero who died, so we won't, we won't look too deeply into that one. That can go... Princess, you working in darkness? You you can have that in there. You can also you can also have a light. I'm really sorry. I, in fact, we're not we're not being too clever here. We've got this component assembly bench. We've got 33. Okay, I'm guessing we haven't got the right gubbins for that. Uh, there's nothing going on in here right now, so we can turn you off and turn you off and we can pop a light in there what's going on now that's fine that will get put back together so she's going to get a light that should make her a little bit happier uh yeah, we could probably do with a light or something around here it what's the beauty in here like ugly so they, they just need a statue. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. What's this one you're working on? On this piece, tuned by closeness, is a portrayal of Vladimir Hardy researching and refining while holding papers in his hand. Vladimir is completely surrounded by an array of tools and apparatuses. The scene takes place in the middle of a town and almost every shape in the image seems to be triangular. The image tells the story of Vladimir finishing research on refining. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh... So you've got one up there already. Didn't we instruct you to turn this light on? Isn't that Paul's bed? Yeah. I thought we told you to turn that on. Do we... Do we give you... Because this is ugly in here. Let's install this in here. We'll put it put a, uh, a, a sculpture of your boyfriend right next to the furnace. I'm sure that will keep you very happy. Uh, what do we have next? We have day number nine on this piece is an artwork of Thomas Tom Android recruiting Min Kim in front of the whole colony. Min is nodding in understanding. A dead coyote floats at the left part of the image. The work is executed in a surrealist, surrealistic style. This representation tells the story of recruitment of Min. Right, so that was Tom. So Tom, which is your bed? Oh, hang on. No one's using that one. We need to wait until everyone's in bed, because... Paul, turn your light on. Right, so... Everyone's asleep. Is everyone in bed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are. Yeah. In which case, Paul, you, you don't want to hear Princess and Vladimir banging, so I'm going to assign you that bed. Uh, but you can turn your light back off as you go. And you can also turn that light off because that is no, well, not, not no longer being used. It's definitely not being used at the moment. And so is that one, so that can go off too. You're young, you're fine. The extra hours sleep you've missed, you won't even feel it. I have faith in it. I have faith. What else do we have? So, oh yeah, we were doing, was it you? Yes, day number nine. You can be installed 
in Tom's Scotty did that one right so we will reinstall that into Scotty's room let's pop that there I don't know yeah in that room it makes sense because there's not enough space but everyone else should have them to the side I think that's me being silly uh, so that is day number nine that goes into Tom's room he gets it just there what next have we got we have Vladimir with orange on this piece is an image of Vladimir Hardy deeply kissing Alicia Princess Rich while both are drenched in sweat. Vladimir is locking eyes with Princess. The image is bordered by innumerable mongooses and the image is totally devoid of both grace and plenty. Hmm. Uh, let's pop that one into there. It's a little bit sickly that one. I don't, I don't think any of the other of Arcanists would be quite appreciative of seeing them bumping uglies in a in statue form. So uh, we won't worry about that one too much. Uh, masking in for red. This work bears a portrayal of Tamine Maskinen Mask working on charge shot research project alone at her bench. Maskinen is staring at her discovery with a sense of wonder. There is a, dis a district in the upper part of the image and the work is shaded in hues of green and red. Oh, Maskinen. Um... We'll give that one to Manuel because um, he's a sensitive soul and he could have been cheered up. Who else do we have? One more? Yeah, one more. And that one is War! A torso side piece of sculpture. Sculpt, uh, material sculpted into artistic form war this work bears an artwork of Tamine Maskin and Mask capturing John Lynchy Lich as he twists in pain Maskin is spitting into Lynch's face <laughs> the subjects are in front of a rock and the classical style of the central scene clashes with the simple depiction of the background Maskin she was a bastard weren't she all right so that can go oh, that's beauty minus six that's not good. Beauty 57. Let's make sure we got this right. Beauty 115. 79. 115. 98. 115. 115. Those are epic. Oh, we've got another one. What's this one? Green Devotion. This work is shaped like a list of Princess Rich capturing Basculo Biduera as he twists in paint. Have I not done this one? Maybe not. Uh, that can go into Paul. Is Paul like a totally depressed person? Alcohol addiction. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, no, you're not. You're not too bad. Who else is here? Now we've got Masaru and Min. 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 What do you not like doing? Beautiful and aesthetic. Cabin fever. Cooped up side for days. Need to go outside. Mm. Yeah, we won't install that one. We'll sell that one. But it's freed up some space, which is great. Uh, I feel like we need to be making some more clothes, though. So what are people missing? We have... So we need one t-shirt, uh, one t-shirt, one jacket, uh, you're good, uh, we need two t-shirts, one jacket, two t-shirts, two jackets should take us up to the end, so um, two of those, two of those. Who's my tailor? Do we have a tailor? We do. Masaru. So she should start working on it in the morning, I guess that'll be. So what's in the cargo bobs anyway? We have steel. Lots of steel. Not too fussed by steel. Can we train can we train these? Are they, are they any good? Intermediate. 
Well, okay, fine. We might as well, well I suppose we better train them both up. We might get around to it. Maybe it's something we can give um, little Paul to do, keep him busy. Does, because Min keeps saying about being bored, three to four. We'll put that on just in case. And we'll put it on for you as well. Who knows? Someone might get lucky. Someone might get lucky. We also have a heat wave. Watch out for heat stroke. Uh, right, okay. So, what can we do for the temperature? And we can put in a passive core. That's only 50 wood. We'll run out and self destruct. That's never a good. You know, sounding thing, is it really? We'll self-destruct. Uh, right. Ah, right, they're, they're shipping in. Okay, before that happens, let's put some coolers into people's rooms to keep them happy. I think that's good enough. That should do, surely. That's lots of wood we just used. We'll try it. I've never used them before. Let's, we'll, we'll just try it. All right, so we have a raid. A group of mechanoids uh, dropping right in on top of us. Oh, right, okay. There they are. <gasps> Not in my food. Not in my food. Masteru, get the hell out of there. Oh, my life. Masteru, get out of there. Right, let's uh, shut that off. Oh, dear. Do we know what we got before drop pod? No, we don't. Not until they come out. That's that's not good. Out, out of everywhere they could have come from, that is definitely the worst room to land in. Definitely. Uh, we need to get everyone uh, sort of here. Um, we need that to hold open, that to hold open. Masaru, for the love of God. Uh, okay, so the Skyfist, what do they have? A charge Lance, which is poor. Charge Lance, Charge Lance. So Masaru, just get the hell out of there. The princess, to there, to there, please. Min, what have you got? Heavy SMG. You go to the... Why can't you go to there? No, Masu's no good. Tom, you're on to there. Scotty, you had the other one. You can go to there. Manuel, you can go... Oh, right, you go to there. Uh, Vladimir, you go to there. And Paul, you're a brave lad. You are going to come into here. Oh, okay, well, we haven't got time for this. Um, so Princess Min, where, where were you going to go? You probably are not best going there. In fact, thinking about this, if they're going to come on out now, we're best putting you guys straight into doorways. Uh, Masu's going into there. So Min, if you, you can't go to there. You go to there. Tom. You're already going. Uh, Princess, where were you going? Go to there. Scott is going. Manuel. Vladimir. Paul. Go. And go quick. Ah, lordy. Um, right, we don't want that open anymore. And we don't want that open anymore. Uh... Okay, um, okay, change the change plan. Paul and Min, you go out there. Oh, where are you going? Attacking Orbital Trade Beacon. Okay, well, in which case, Princess, you hold back for a second. Oh, no, you changed your mind. Okay. 
you come into there. Min, you go to there. Pool, you. I just hang back. Tom, you go to there. Oh, lord! It, oh, that that sounded nasty. That that was a gunshot gunshot to the neck. Uh, Scotty, just gone in. Oh, shot, shot. Uh, in which case, uh, Min, you like to stand? No, don't arrest anyone. Just uh, well, don't stand in the way. That's, that's all we're looking again. You need to do right now. Min. Run, your, your diversion. Oh, shot. Where's the other guy? Uh, okay, well, this is going alright. Scully, you go, because you're going to die. Uh, Tom, you can stand there. Princess, I need you to stand there. And... Min... You're back up. You go that side. So you can go... And where were you going? You're... We're past all this, guys. You, you guys can go. We're, we're dealing with this. We're doing okay. Uh, Masaru! No, Masaru! No, 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 no. Vladimir, what are you doing? Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, Min, you go. Come in. Go into there. Go there. Go behind that. Use that as, as cover. Princess, if you're not going to shoot, move. Oh, for the love of God. Come on. Um, princess, how bad are you? No immediate danger. Princess, go there. Manuel, if you're coming in, you might as well come and fight. better stand sort of there princess is down crap okay right so we can't have princess dying if she if she, if she goes down Vladimir is not gonna be happy Tom are you doing rubbish death in 12 hours left him was just destroyed gone boom Oh dear. Uh, Paul, you maybe needed, son. Let's bring you up. Tom, go. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, thank God for that. Right, so. Whew. Well, that sucked. Um, we need stuff going on. Tom, uh, Paul, even. No, we don't want to be uh, doing that. You, you just kill that. What was in the cargo pods? More joints needed. Smoke them if you got them. If you ain't got them, you're going to hit rock bottom. Uh, we need another door. We need coolers in the heat wave as well. Ah, this is this is how we die. This is how we die. Uh, we need that cooler into... Well, it was a way around. Uh, we need our bestest, bestest constructors, which is Scotty and Princess. Of course it is. Who's next best? They're all terrible. They're all terrible. Scotty is the man. Scotty, are you healed up yet? What are you doing? You're tending to princess. That's fine. You carry on. Are you good, Scotty? Right, I need you... To be working on that. Vladimir, can you repair? Come on, Paul. Dead? Dead. Well, that was unfortunate. It, actually, we need to put a door in as well. Let's put in a slightly stronger door this time. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And let's get this all picked up. Paul, what are you doing right now? Can you haul that instead? 
Why are you standing? Why is there no path? Is it because you took that out? And it's unroofed? Oh, lord, it is. Oh, oh dear. Uh, zone. So have you, have you just blocked yourself in by doing that? You have, haven't you? Right, so, pull. Please grab these components and sharfish. Okay, Vladimir. Do you not carry? That's fine. Scotty, you must carry, surely. No? What? What? Okay. They're all injured. We, there's nothing we can do with those. Please pick that up. Oh, haul it. Scotty, pick that up. Right, now we can build the cooler. And we need to put that door up in order for that to go. So, what are you working on next? The dining chair. No, 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 no. There are more important things at hand here. Manuel can do the laborious stuff. That you know, we need your intricate skills here. We need that door up so we can get this roof back up. Our food is going to spoil very, very quickly. Come on, Scotty, you let the side down here, son. Princess, come to help out now as well. I need you to build the roof. I need you to build the roof. Oh. Roof? There we go. Roof. And roof. And roof. Hey, we indoors. Unroofed. Why is it unroofed? Is it because of this? Come on, Scarly, get it together, mate. You're not going to bed until it's made. It took me episodes to sort this out. Still unroofed. But the temperature is coming down. Where is it unroofed? I have no idea. I have no idea. But the temperature is going down, so... As long as the temperature keeps going down, that's fine. Oh, here we go. It's all rotting away. It is refrigerated now, though. Oh, lordy. No, no more. No more. That's fine. We can, we can deal with that one. Great. Great. This is just... If I were to... Get Scotty up. Scotty, come into here. Right. And now let's forbid... Forbid the door. And now let's take him off. Surely you're going to put everything back together. Indoors. Right, now. Now you can go. Well done. Thanks, Scotty. <sighs> Sometimes... Just, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? It just makes you wonder. Uh, Tom and Princess are healing up. I think this is a good time to leave this episode. Uh, it's been interesting. Uh, we're losing food quick. Thankfully, food has been built quick. Heal root is still a major issue. We're definitely going to need a trader at some point. We might, might even have to send out the caravan. Uh, now we've got two dromedaries, which we can hopefully put stuff onto. I'll need to look into doing that at some point. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.